Hello everyone. We're here with the latest Manchester United updates for this Tuesday, and we have some exclusive news for you. Juventus is already preparing 30 million euros for two players released by Manchester United. A Bayer Leverkusen defender becomes a more feasible opportunity for Manchester United to sign. Competition in the Premier League for a midfielder is heating up. A new reinforcement might be on the way to Old Trafford. Is Mason Greenwood returning to Manchester United? This news has caused a stir among the fans. You can find all of this here on the channel. Let's go, everyone. First and foremost, but always important request, give us a like, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now, and hit the bell icon to not miss any exclusive content we post daily. Let's dive into the first updates of the day on this Tuesday morning. Juventus is already preparing a 30 million euro bid for Jadon Sancho and Donny van der Beek, players who have been sidelined by Manchester United. Juventus aims to take advantage of the delicate situation both Jadon Sancho and Donny van der Beek find themselves in, in order to snatch them away from Manchester United at a significantly lower cost than what the English club paid for them. Jadon Sancho sees his future at Manchester United becoming increasingly complicated. His strained relationship with coach Eric Ten Hag has led to a complete disappearance of his playing time and even his isolation from the rest of the team. In this scenario, reports suggesting an exit for the player, possibly as soon as next January, are becoming more frequent. Several teams have positioned themselves in the race for a possible acquisition, such as Borussia Dortmund or Juventus Turin. In fact, there's already talk about the amount that might be sufficient for Old Trafford to allow their departure during the upcoming winter transfer window. Two signings for 30 million euros. Corriere dello Sport specifically indicates this morning that Juventus Turin is willing to offer around 30 million euros to secure the package deal comprising the 23-year-old English player and his Manchester United teammate, Donny van der Beek, 26. It's important to note that Manchester United already paid 85 million euros to Borussia Dortmund for Jadon Sancho and 40 million euros to Ajax for the aforementioned van der Beek. Therefore, Accepting this amount from the Italians would result in a significant loss. Undoubtedly, this would be unwelcome news for the British club. Jonathan Tarr, a more accessible opportunity for Manchester United. The defensive fragility of the Red Devils has significantly hindered their performance this season. Hence, they persist in pursuing Bayer Leverkusen's centre-back, a squad that has reportedly set a selling price of €23 million Euros for their player. It's not news to point out that Manchester United is one of the prime movers in each transfer window. This is, of course, backed by the mere fact of belonging to a Premier League that reigns as the top spender among the major leagues in the market. Now, the focus is on the colossus of Old Trafford. A club that, unfortunately for its interests, seems to have one foot out of the present edition of the Champions League, right from the start. Regarding their roadmap, it's evident they aim to address their defensive shortcomings with a new marshal. Hence, they continue to keep an eye on Jonathan Tarr, 27 years old. As indicated by information from journalist Fabrizio Romano, the Red Devils are among the numerous admirers of the Bayer Leverkusen defender. A player who is showcasing his authority under the guidance of Sebay Alonso, who is unwilling to do without the services of the German. Tied to B04 until mid-2025, his valuation stands at around €23 million, Euros, which wouldn't pose too high a hurdle for Moo's finances. At this moment, Tar is deeply committed to the cause of Leverkusen, which dreams of the Bundesliga throne. Meanwhile, United will intensify their surveillance of the centre-back. The competition in the Premier League for midfielder Kenneth Taylor is intensifying. Kenneth Taylor is providing strong evidence of his quality in the midfield for Ajax Amsterdam. This has led top-tier clubs like Manchester City, Tottenham, Manchester United, and Newcastle to pursue him. The financial power and muscle of the Premier League have made it a real attraction for the majority of footballers. This, coupled with the increasingly appealing nature of a league that is gaining more followers in various corners of the global football world. As a result, these top clubs are generating numerous news stories regarding the transfer market. 
According to information from Team Talk, the pursuit of Kenneth Taylor, 21 years old, a promising midfielder currently playing for Ajax Amsterdam, is noteworthy. Monitored for some time by Manchester City and Manchester United, it's worth noting that he has been considered an alternative for Real Madrid's midfield. The attention he's receiving stems from the incredible battle this raw diamond has ignited within the English football scene. According to the mentioned source, Tottenham Hotspur, Aston Villa, Newcastle United, and Brighton and Hove Albion are also eyeing a player who could become a free agent in 2027. The potential deal could be sealed for around 10 million euros, so it remains to be seen which club will take the lead in acquiring this Dutch professional who is a treasure for Ajax. A second chance for Mason Greenwood? Shining on loan at Hetafe, Mason Greenwood's return to Manchester United seemed like a distant possibility. But as pointed out by Fabrizio Romano, the Manchester club is considering the return of their homegrown talent, who had been sidelined from the team following an alleged mistreatment of his partner. After two years away from the pitch amidst a legal process related to domestic abuse and violence, Mason Greenwood got back to playing thanks to Hetafe. The Madrid-based club surpassed Lazio and secured the services, on loan, of the once highly touted prospect from Manchester United. Under the guidance of Jose Bordalas, the English forward is shining in the Nagelon squad. Improving steadily, he has already accumulated four goals and three assists in 11 matches, and his return to Manchester United is no longer dismissed as it was before the summer, as stated by Fabrizio Romano. Return to United? Hence, the possibility of Greenwood's return will be based on his sporting performance, the incoming co-owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, is already discussing Greenwood's situation internally, and from what I've been told, no decision has been made, and nothing will be decided in December. So the idea is to take some time and let Greenwood play football. Then, based on his performance at Hetafe, Manchester United will discuss his and the player's position. This will probably take place in March, April, or May, states Fabrizio Romano. However, this is a complex operation that involves various aspects and must be approved by the new management of the English club. There will be many different factors to consider, and obviously, the new Manchester United board will have a new CEO and new heads of the transfer market, meaning they will all decide together on the transfers. Those are the updates for this Tuesday, fans. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video.